Hello friends, Clayton Phillips from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And yes, it's that uh, time of year again where we're back inside doing our videos, a little cooler outside, uh, but that's not stopping us from uh, providing you, you know, great walkthrough videos, fly-through videos on the Grand Design product and what we carry here at Woody's RV World in Leduc. Uh, the fly-through video I'm about to do is on a 2150 RB Imagine by Grand Design. Uh, this travel trailer has been around for a few years now. And uh, every year it just seems to perform. Uh, great layout, lots of storage. It's not too long. It's only uh, 26 feet, nine inches in length. Uh, but you get all of the great quality build uh, construction techniques in a shorter package in the Imagine if you're not looking for something too terribly long, uh, which is really, really nice. This is a 2019 model, so you get all the new upgrades, the new graphics package, and all of those things. But we're gonna get into a lot of detail on this video, talk about Grand Design a bit, how they build their product, uh, and the 2150RB as well. So. Uh, again, Grand Design, talk about this on all the Imagines. Uh, they use a drop frame storage compartment up front here. They're one of the only manufacturers to do it in the industry. They're the first ones to come out with it. Uh, 47 cubic feet of pass-through storage in this little travel trailer, uh, which is really nice. Camping gear nowadays is super oversized, super comfortable, bigger patio mats, bigger barbecues, packing the folding tables. And Grand Design has close to almost double the storage than exterior storage than what you would find in a lot of other comparable models in the lightweight series. Uh, and how they accomplish that is by the A-frame up front, they drop that down, similar to like on the fifth wheels with the Lippert Z chassis, uh, but right here represents typically where your main floor is. If you see that belt line right there, that's typically where your main floor is. And so what Grand Design has done is they've dropped that storage floor down uh, to really maximize. They wanted to, you know, come up with some fifth wheel like storage. And that was one of always one of the benefits to a fifth wheel was the exterior storage. Uh, in a travel trailer, of course, not all vehicles can pull fifth wheels and get that great big pass-through storage, but now you get it in a travel trailer by Grand Design and the Imagine. They've been doing this since their inception. They've been building the Imagine for a bunch of years now. Very innovative company, Grand Design. Very forward thinking in a lot of the things. One of the things that this trailer has in the utility compartment is that the utility compartment. So you've got your outside shower hookups. You've got your city water connection. This is really slick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Through your city water connection, you can actually run from city water or flip this blue lever up and that will automatically fill up your fresh water tank. So if you're at a campground, you're about to head off, you don't have any water in your fresh tank, you're not having to unhook your water hose and run it over to the potable water fill and jam it in the hole uh, to fill it up. You just simply flip that lever, uh, which makes it real easy for you. And again, you've got a 52 gallon fresh water capacity with this trailer, which is really nice. So if you're in a dry camping, backwoods camping, into the quadding, heading out to the Big Valley Jamboree, you're gonna have tons of capacities with this trailer. And we'll get into more of those capacities once we continue on. Uh, battery disconnect switch, which is real nice. You can kill the, uh, the power right at the batteries so you don't get the little green LED light on your carbon monoxide detector draining your batteries. You have the 110 hookup here in the pass-through storage compartment and then all of your coax cable connections if you want to run satellite dish and all of those things and whatnot. So all aluminum tubing up through this product, you'll find when you're counting the aluminum tubes, comparatively to other products, Grand Design typically has one or two more aluminum tubes. Uh, and then they actually fully bead weld. And I'll just zoom in on that. You can see that they weld all of their aluminum tubing together as opposed to screwing it together or bolting it together. A lot of other manufacturers where the aluminum tubing would be, they would actually run uh, wood studs uh, stapled together or screwed together uh, and what have you. So this is just a much stronger, much lighter weight package that you get with Grand Design, typically lighter hitch weights as well. They're very cognizant of the placement of the axles on this particular product as well. They wanna make sure that they maximize towability, have the right amount of hitch weight on the back of the vehicle uh, to prevent from sway and all of those things. So they're really thinking about the towability uh, of the product as well. And we'll get into more of that with the axles and the tires and such. But Grand Design, they were the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But as we're coming up to the slide out here, I just want to show you where Grand Design wins. See the bottom of their slide out? A lot of manufacturers use a woven fabric called Darko. And that Darko material, over time, especially on this hard edge, 
of the slide out right here, what can happen is if there's friction when that slide out, which typically there is uh, around the rubber seals and all of those things when the slide out comes in and out, that friction will actually wear that Darko fabric away. And be aware of, look at some pre-owned trailers out there. You'll definitely see what I'm talking about. Um, it'll actually expose the wood in the floor, which, you know, makes it more susceptible to moisture intrusion. And, and you know, if you get that moisture in there for a, a period of time, you can get, you know, rotting and all of those things, the wood swelling up and whatnot. So Grand Design's really doing the right stuff. They're really protecting the investment that you're making in the trailer. And I just want to throw you, throw you underneath here, underneath the trailer. So right up underneath is a fully enclosed and heated underbelly on the Imagine, which is really, really nice front to back. Any openings, you know, they try to spray foam in and around. Don't really have the greatest lighting there, but you can see that. That's the gray valve uh, for your kitchen uh, to drain your kitchen tank. But you can see they foam everything around, you know, prevent uh, the, you know, the hot air from uh, escaping as the furnace is running to heat your tanks. One of the really neat things, and I'll just uh, zoom in across here, see that white T-handle with that, uh, that's your gate valve to drain your fresh water tank. A lot of manufacturers are using just a half inch water line with a plastic cap and you literally got to crawl on your back underneath the trailer to unscrew it to drain out your fresh water tank. You get dirty and filthy and who knows what you're crawling in to, uh, to drain your fresh water tank. With this particular product you just pull that T-valve and you know your fresh water tank dumps in a, in, in a real hurry which is, which is real cool. Uh, the running gear on this, uh, Grand Design uses the Dexter towing system. So that's a Dexter axle with a five, five year warranty it's Dexter uh, never adjust brakes you've got the um, Dexter easy lubes hubs as well uh, so there's a cap and I'm just gonna zoom in on that as well there's a cap on the end of that which makes um, it's not pink it's just showing that but it's actually silver cap but that cap comes off and you just have a grease gun and you can literally cycle the old grease out while you're pumping the new stuff in so you're going to save yourself hundreds of dollars from having to get your wheel bearings repacked every couple of years uh, and that sort of thing and then they also use a Westlake Lions Head tire that tire is a very good quality tire uh, you've got a load range D on this particular model you have a five-year warranty and a 12 months no questions asked replacement so if you have an issue that falls within the warranty guidelines uh, within the first 12 months there's no questions asked they just take care of it for you so again three-year structural warranty they were the first manufacturer to come out with that three-year structural warranty uh, how they were able to do that was because they built the product to support the three-year structural warranty. And what I mean by that is every vertical wall in a Grand Design trailer, including the roof of the slide out, is fully laminated. It's solid. A lot of manufacturers, they'll claim they have a laminated trailer, but the slide end walls, the rear wall on a lot of the uh, competitive product, is not laminated so literally you go and push on that rear wall or the slide end wall and it flexes and if you were to pull that panel off in a lot of cases what you will find is spun fiberglass insulation especially at the rear of a trailer you can get insulation pack as time goes on we've done um, you know water damage repairs on certain products in the industry where literally we pull that full panel off to you know repair all the wood studs and stuff in the back which this doesn't have by the way it's all aluminum tubing um, we've found gaps in that insulation where literally you have no insulation whatsoever between your inner wall board and your fiberglass panel. Grand Design, every vertical wall panel that has it, they use a block foam insulation pounded from side to side, top to bottom, in between all of the studs and openings. Uh, so you have full insulation. It's very, very strong, very rigid. We find the Grand Design product to tow better just because it's built square. Uh, every wall panel is built on a jig to exact specifications so that when they put the walls together and the slide in and all of those things, it fits perfectly. The other thing you'll find with Grand Design products, every window opening, that window right there, if you were to pop that out, there's actually an aluminum tube, a frame around where that window is. A lot of manufacturers don't frame in around their openings. That's why they claim to be lighter weight. Grand Design never claims to be the lightest weight product out there, but they claim to be the lightest based on the strength and quality that they put into it uh, for what you're getting, which is really, really nice. Um, 
block foam insulation, aluminum tubing. They stuff all the aluminum tubing with wood dowels where there's outside fasteners holding everything together. Uh, they're just doing all of the right stuff when manufacturing the product. Even the top of the slide out here, uh, the roof of the slide is a fully laminated, fully insulated panel, just like the sidewall is. So you can literally stand on the top of that slide out. A lot of manufacturers, they would never claim to say that you could do that because they're just not built as well. Uh, Grand Design, every brand that they build includes a ladder. Okay, a lot of people will, Clayton, why is a ladder important? Well, you can climb up on the roof, sweep off the top of your slide if you're in a heavily wooded area with leaves falling down. Um, a lot of manufacturers, you literally, they don't put ladders on the back in a lot of cases because they do not have full walk-on roofs. And I'm not gonna name names, I could rattle a whole bunch off, but just buyer beware, ask lots of questions when you're checking things out. Again, Grand Design's not professing to be the lightest weight trailer. Uh, they're not professing to be the cheapest trailer on the market, but what you're gonna get with a Grand Design product is far superior quality, durability, reliability, serviceability to be able to climb up on the roof and sweep off the top of the slide, replace the roof vents, all of those things. So uh, continuing on, of course, I'm, I love to talk on these videos. So giving you lots of, lots of detail. The hot water heater in the Grand Design Imagine is a gas and electric hot water heater. It has a 17.8 gallon quick recovery rate. Uh, so with the gas and electric uh, on, uh, you're gonna produce a lot of hot water and you know, uh, in an, over an hour's period, which is good. You can actually have a decent shower and a uh, decent shower because not only do you have a solid fresh tank at 52 gallons, you actually have a 71 gallon gray capacity. So that's a separate gray tank uh, for your bathroom and a separate gray tank for your kitchen, which combined equals 71 gallons. So spray port here on the entry side of your trailer. So they actually do give you that uh, fresh water on the entry side, which is really nice for setting up an outdoor cook area that type of thing to be able to access that fresh water. So lend a hand grab handle on this as well. So that folds in and out, makes entering and exiting the trailer much easier. You know, Arctic insulation package. Speaking of that, R40 in your roof, R40 front cap. You have an inch and a half sidewall, which is an R7 and an R30 double insulated floor. So very, very good R values. And how they get those R values is they take the combination of the materials cumulatively to get you that R value. So insulation, the astrofoil insulation, foil wrap, uh, all of those things and, and what else they have there. So triple entry step, all aluminum tread, real folds out nice, real easy, which is good. Another close shot up, a shot of those um, nice radial tires by Westlake alloy wheel real sharp they have a little separation between the tires not too much which can cause tire binding that we've seen with some of the other brands uh, in the marketplace where they go like really far apart uh, and you can actually bend an axle if you get too much torque when you're jackknifing your trailer this is at a nice distance to help keep once again the hitch weight uh, at that right space but also a towability if you're in a crosswind they don't bounce around the road like others do so brand designs really thinking folks Again, I'll just shoot back here to show you the entry side. They try to put gigantic awnings on, like they try to maximize the size of awning. You can't get any bigger power awning on this trailer uh, without impeding into a storage compartment or anything like that. So that's an 18 foot A and E power awning, has a full tilt feature to it. So uh, if the sun's coming down, you want more shade, you can lower the awning down. Uh, if you want to, if it's raining and you want to divert the, the moisture that's falling on the fabric off to the back or off to the front, depending on what way you want to divert the water, you can do that. And it's really slick. You just pull down on the awning and tighten a black knob and that literally will adjust where the awning is. Uh, outside speakers even, you know, again, the reliability, long-term use, they don't countersink their uh, speakers into the sidewalk, cutting a bigger hole. They run literally a small little hole for one wire and then that speaker sits on the outside wall of the slide or of the, of the wall, which is nice. Um, people are sleeping inside, you have your outside speakers playing. That speaker literally isn't playing inside the trailer causing a lot more noise. Uh, it, just, it just functions better and you can isolate those speakers too. So if you don't want your interior speakers playing, you can literally just have your, your outside speakers playing. Uh, LED light strip, which is on the switch, same switch as those nice blue lights and those outside speakers as well. So again, Grand Design Imagine 2150 RB. This is the 2019 model. You've got the upgraded linear graphics. That's all new for 2019, uh, which makes this trailer just have such a nice new modern look to it, uh, which is real cool. So we're gonna zip inside. 
Again, I shoot these videos, folks. You have to forgive me. Um, I don't edit these things. I shoot them one time. So if I miss some detail or miss some, some points, I apologize for that. Do the best I can. Uh, try to give you lots of details so you can make an informed purchase decision. You still want to do your research, ask lots of questions. Um, but again, back to the trailer. So we option this in with the Chase Lounge, which is real slick. So right here, it does come with a table. The table just hangs right on that bracket. Um, there's an, a leg that mounts to that and then the table sits on top. So uh, that does is a tri-fold couch as well. So the half, the two thirds of the couch this way does flip out, making into a great big bed, which is nice, but you've got some real slick storage underneath here. <clears throat> Lifts up with some hydraulic struts. There's the table. It's a thermal foil tabletop, just like the counters. And I'll show you that in the kitchen here shortly, but great spot to store some extra bedding, blankets, uh, shoe storage, what have you. So uh, one thing you'll note with Grand Design, gigantic windows. And that is because they use a laminated wall and then they frame in, they put the structure in the sidewall to support a big window. A lot of manufacturers will cheap out and go to smaller windows. One, just to save price, or um, they just don't have the structure to support that great big window. So this is, this window, like you look how long that couch is. I can lay down on that couch and I'm almost six feet tall. And that window is almost as long as that couch. So when this trailer's outside, it lets a lot of natural light in. Slider window on the side to be able to let, you know, that cross ventilation in. If you're dry camping, don't wanna run your air conditioner, that sort of thing. So what's neat about this trailer as well, folks, is when the slide out is fully retracted, you can access your refrigerator, uh, load it up. Your kitchen is real nice. It's got the flip up counter extension on this as well, so. Real nice counter space. Again, 26 feet, nine inches in length. Great big pots and pans drawer here at the base of the oven and range. And just speaking to Grand Design, you know, giving you all the information, normal operation, how to winterize. They give you that sticker. A lot of manufacturers aren't doing those things. Costs a little bit of extra money to put that in there, but they're, they're showing you. They want you to save some money and be able to winterize your trailer yourself. So it's got the new Furion oven and range, glass folding top, the blue lights, real nice edgy look. This countertop is called thermal foil. Okay, it's a sealed countertop, just like the, the, the tabletop for your, uh, your kitchen table. Um, what's nice about this is there's no rubber edging or rubber molding. Okay, so a lot of manufacturers will router out a T groove here and then they'll pinch in a rubber molding. Well, that rubber molding will shrink over time. So with this trailer, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, again, Grand Design, they lower the cabinets down. They're putting a shelf inside. This is where a lot of manufacturers will cheap out and hold back. They actually give you the shelf there. So you can pack a lot of gear with you, which is important. Back to your entertainment center, you've got a, a swivel LED television with the Jensen uh, DVD, Bluetooth stereo, um, real slick system very high quality, better speakers outside and inside, and that DVD player. So it's not just a cheap car stereo that you find in a lot of other products. This is one of my favorite uh, features. <coughs> the factory, Grand Design, the guys down there, my buddies, they, they laugh at me. They call it the Canadian closet because us Canadians always love closets for our jackets. Um, this is kind of a multi-purpose pantry. So in the summertime, when you maybe not want to pack as many, uh, you know, as many, uh, jackets with you or what have you, you've got a dual pantry so you can pack a lot more food. But uh, if you, it's just the two of you and you find this side is enough for pantry space, this shelf comes out and you get a hanger bar in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that hanger bar will allow you to hang up jackets. So in a 26 foot nine inch travel trailer to actually get a, a solid uh, coat closet right at your front door is super rare and Grand Design has been building their entertainment cabinet and pantry storage like that since the Imagine's inception. Right at your entry door you've got your convenience center, ceiling lights, water pump switch, the switch for your outside light on your awning, gas electric hot water heater, slide in and out awning switch. They give you the hooks so in the summertime if you want to pack more food they still give you the hooks to be able to hang jackets and then this is up in behind your LED television in your living area which is nice and then again underneath here you might have seen it when I walked in the trailer but you get a spot to be able to kick those shoes up out of the way you're not getting that big mountain of shoes at your front entryway that everybody's going to trip over so beautiful beautiful living space for this uh, smaller travel trailer again 
52 gallon fresh water capacity, 71 uh, gray, that's combined both your kitchen and your bathroom tanks. And then you have a 39 gallon black tank. So super size capacities. To go along with those R values that I mentioned before, you have a super size furnace. 35,000 BTUs, which is gigantic for this size of trailer. Folks, it's the same size furnace that you would get, let's say in a big solitude or momentum, all the reflections. So what's nice about that is because your furnace is a bigger furnace, it's gonna heat up the inside of the trailer much quicker and it's not gonna cycle on and off as much because you have unbelievable industry leading R values. So the trailer just performs better. Your fan isn't gonna burn out as quick on the furnace on this trailer as it would with a lighter duty furnace. And a good way to tell if it's got a small Small furnace or a big furnace grand design tells you that they have a 35,000 BTU furnace in their brochure a lot of manufacturers won't tell you the size because it's a smaller furnace that's how you tell so a lot of cases you got a, a drawer here on either side of your bed which is nice a lot of manufacturers drawers cost money to build but drawers are really nice to have so uh, that's where grand design again they're not the cheapest trailer out there but they're giving you a far better value uh, and usability. So hanging storage as well on either side of your bed, it's the same. Storage up above, just pop this open, let you get a little shot in there. So all your cabinet framing in the Grand Design is a lumber core solid wood with a veneer wrap, and it's all screwed together. It's not stapled like some manufacturers. The bed, since their inception, 60 wide, 80 long. So that's the same size bed that you would get in, uh, in, your, res in your house. If you have a queen size bed, it's the same dimension. So if this mattress isn't quite suited to your sleeping style or your needs, you can go to any mattress shop and pick up a regular queen bed and it's gonna fit the dimensions without taking up more space. And the other nice thing is, is that a fitted sheet will go around it without bagging up and, and hanging down at the, uh, at the foot of the bed. Drives my wife nuts. Tons of storage underneath the bed here as well. So super deep, perfect for laundry hampers and that sort of thing. So double gas strut. Look underneath the beds on your competitive product, folks. A lot of manufacturers, they do not put gas struts there. So what's nice about that, if you oversize the mattress, put on heavier bedding, you lift it up, you have two hands to be able to grab everything out from underneath, which is good. So back in the living area, po oh, sorry, so solid pocket door here at the entryway or for your, for your bedroom. So it's not a curtain and that sort of thing. Uh, DNA item, I talk a lot about DNA items in Grand Design products, so, and they do this for all their products. Uh, no heat ducts in the floor, okay? Heat ducts in the floor over time, you can develop sp soft spots. Um, they're noisier when the furnace is running. Uh, when you're inside the trailer, they can fill up if you got the puppies, and Grand Design loves puppies. So I'll just show you that, you got Spot there. Look at him, cute little puppy, and the dog dishes. Real slick. My neighbor, they don't have a dog. She took out, they bought an Imagine. She took out the, um, uh, the dog dishes and that's where she stores her wine bottles. Uh, neighbor created some dividers and he can hold up to, I think four or five wine bottles in there. So a little bit of flexibility is that kind of cool. But uh, no, no heat registers in the floor. So you have a solid floor. Um, they port the heat, heats, the heat through the ducts in the cabinetry. Okay, so, uh, and then the tanks are heated underneath in the basement of the trailer off forced air heat. Typically when you see heat ducts in the floor, the indicator of what heats your tanks in that product is radiant heat off that heat plenum where it travels. So it's really not doing a whole lot up here. Uh, Grand Design uses a forced air ducted heat system to heat those tanks. So onto the bathroom, we winding down the video here. You have a great big shower surround, super wide, tons of space. You have the towel rack here beside. You can roll up the towels and stack them in there. This is the Nautilus shower curtain, which folds in and out real nice and easy. It actually has a cool feature. So when that shower curtain retracts, the moisture that's on the backside of it will squeegee off and run back down into the shower pan. So real nice. It's not that plastic curtain on a rod above that you hop in and it shrink wraps around you because of the static electricity. So they do give you the skylight above. So if you're a taller fella or lady, um, you got lots of headroom inside this shower. And the transition point to get in and out of the shower is real nice. It's not too tall to get in and out. So porcelain foot flush toilet. And then this is where the bathroom, the ladies absolutely love this, like gigantic counter space, folks. Like you can set a ton of stuff on this counter space. And then you've got what I would call the double double vanity here. So either side, just to fill up the space, you got a ton of storage in this bathroom. You got the towel rack here, here, 
you know, roll up your towels, stack them in there. You got the double vanity, the big sink. You can actually get your face down there and wash your face off. It's not a teeny tiny little sink. And then you've got the storage up underneath here as well. So great big drawer. So your hot water heater will be below that drawer uh, on the back of the trailer. And that's where you'll access your bypass for your hot water heater when you want to winterize it for the winter time. So Again, folks, Clayton Phillips from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We love the RV industry. This is what we do every day. We have a passion for it. We're enthusiasts ourselves, and we absolutely love the Grand Design product. We've had a lot of success with it. Uh, customers are loving it. The support from the manufacturer. Love to invite you to come down to our dealership in Leduc, Alberta. Check out our, we call it the Google Five Star Experience. We're really setting the new tone in the, in the market down here and really trying to focus in on you, the customer, uh, and just creating a, a great experience for you and delivering you a superior product. So check us out. Our phone number is 780-986-1234. Uh, we've got the YouTube videos, of course. That's what we're doing right now. Thank you for our faithful uh, to our faithful watchers and followers and people that love to hit like. Again, I shoot these videos one time, so uh, you know don't have a lot of time to edit them and do all the things that a lot of other guys do, but try to give you as much information as possible. So, reach out. Love to have you come by. Thanks for your time. Take care.